Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Curse of Oak Island The team seeks more evidence treasure was buried on island in the 13th century. This week's The Curse of Oak Island showed compelling theories of human activity dating way back to the 1200s and argued that these ancient folk may be responsible for the Oak Island mystery. A lot of last night's airtime was taken up by the guys worrying about the approach of Hurricane Lee and their concern it might cause damage to the garden shaft, lot 5, and elsewhere. Perhaps for that reason, this episode was heavy on the theory. First, the guys were joined in the war room by one of Ian Spooner's colleagues, geoscientist Aaron Sitkowski, to discuss his isotope analysis of two artifacts pulled out of the ground in the Money Pit area. Aaron examined two pieces of wood, including an axe excavated from the spoils of the old RF-1 caisson at about 180 feet. The RF-1 hole was excavated back in Season 7, and the guys still reckon it might be the spot closest to the original money pit. The caisson was placed between the chapel and hidden shafts. Aaron focused his study on measuring the isotopes within the metallic element called strontium found in each artifact. The geoscientist explained that strontium can be used to identify the geographic origin of the artifacts, much like a fingerprint. Aaron proudly told the guys that the artifacts originated in southeastern France or northern Italy. New evidence further links Oak Island with Europe and possibly the Templar Knights. This news thrilled the team as it suggested more links between Oak Island and the original stomping grounds of the medieval Order of Templar Knights. Last season, Rick Logina and a few others traveled to Italy, where they examined old Templar churches and hiding spots, and discovered ancient symbols that have also been detected on Oak Island. The infamous knights were also clearly linked to their native France. The 14th century lead cross, uncovered by Gary Drayton in 2017, is believed to have been made using materials from mines in southeastern France. All this mounting evidence continues to feed the theory that the Templar knights or their successors buried treasure, such as ancient Christian relics, on Oak Island. This news also sent the borehole drill team back to reinvestigate the RF-1 location, but so far, without any success. Elsewhere on the island, Ian came up trumps with the carbon-14 results of the wood found on old tree stumps recovered from the swamp. The wood was dated to the late 13th century and early 14th century. This news, combined with the previous C-14 dating of the paved area, suggests something big and human-made occurred in the marshy area in the 13th century. This is the same time period when the Templars were most active. Meanwhile, all this caused Rick to remember their visit to Italy and archaeoastronomer Professor Adriano Caspani. Rick Legina suspects major activity occurred on Oak Island in the 1200s. Archaeoastronomy is a scientific discipline examining how ancient stone monuments were built to align with stars or other celestial objects. Two famous examples of this are Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid at Giza. By examining how these monuments align with the stars today, archaeoastronomers like Gaspani can date when they were built. Last year, Gaspani told Rick that Nolan's Cross was likely built in 1200 AD. Last night, Rick suggested they put Gaspani to work again on two other stone structures, the Stone Triangle on the South Shore and the Stone Cairns, also known as the Pirate Piles, found on Lot 15. The stone triangle featured stones from the beach that allegedly pointed toward the original money pit, but were sadly destroyed in the 1960s. The cairns consist of five pyramid-shaped constructs that point toward the swamp. Rick wants to give Gaspani the coordinates of both these stone features to see if he can determine if they were aligned with the stars and when they were built. If those dates come back in the ballpark of 1200 AD, it could prove that a significant operation occurred on the island in the 13th century. And what a discovery that would be. Its medieval baby would be Gary Drayton's reaction. In the tranquil embrace of the North Atlantic, 
There lies an enigma cloaked in whispers and shadows, a place where the very earth seems to guard its secrets with a fierce determination. This is Oak Island, a small patch of land off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, whose name has become synonymous with mystery and intrigue. For centuries, treasure hunters and adventurers have been drawn to its shores, lured by tales of untold riches hidden beneath its surface but none have faced the trials and tribulations endured by the brave souls who call themselves the Oak Island Treasure Hunters. Among them is a team of dedicated individuals whose quest for the truth knows no bounds. Led by brothers Rick and Marty Legina, the team has spent years unraveling the mysteries of Oak Island, following in the footsteps of those who came before them. And now, as they delve deeper into the island's past, they have uncovered tantalizing clues that suggest a treasure beyond imagining may indeed lie buried beneath its soil. It is a chilly morning on Oak Island as the team gathers at their makeshift headquarters, a weather-beaten cottage nestled among the trees. Rick and Marty stand at the center of the room, poring over maps and documents with a sense of quiet determination. Around them, the rest of the team bustles about, preparing for another day of exploration and discovery. We've made some incredible progress in recent months, Rick says, his voice filled with excitement. But I believe we've only scratched the surface of what lies beneath this island. Marty nods in agreement, his gaze fixed on a particularly intriguing map spread out before him. According to these documents, there are accounts dating back to the 13th century that speak of a great treasure hidden here on Oak Island, he says. And I believe we're closer than ever to finding it. With renewed resolve, the team sets out into the mist-shrouded landscape, their eyes scanning the horizon for signs of the past. As they delve deeper into the island's secrets, they uncover evidence of a civilization long forgotten, a people whose very existence has been all but erased from history. We found artifacts dating back centuries, one of the team members exclaims, holding up a rusted sword hilt for all to see. It's proof that people were living here long before anyone ever suspected. But it is not just artifacts that the team discovers in their quest for the truth. They also uncover ancient manuscripts and cryptic symbols etched into the rock, each one offering a tantalizing glimpse into the island's past. And as they piece together the clues, a startling picture begins to emerge. It's as if someone wanted to leave a trail for future generations to follow, Rick muses, his brow furrowed in thought. But why? What could they have been trying to protect? As the days turn into weeks and the weeks into months, the team's determination only grows stronger. They face countless obstacles and setbacks along the way from treacherous tunnels to ancient traps designed to thwart would-be intruders. But still they press on, driven by a sense of purpose that transcends the lure of golden riches. We're not just searching for treasure, Marty says, his voice filled with conviction. We're searching for the truth, and no matter what obstacles we face, we won't rest until we find it. And then, one fateful day, their perseverance is rewarded. As they explore a hidden chamber deep beneath the earth, they stumble upon a discovery that sends shockwaves through the entire team. It is a chest, ancient and weathered, its contents shrouded in mystery. With trembling hands, they open the chest and gaze upon its contents, hardly daring to believe what they see. For within its depths lies not just gold and jewels, but something far more precious, the truth. We've done it. Rick whispers, his eyes shining with tears. We finally uncovered the secrets of Oak Island. And as they stand together in the dim light of the chamber, the weight of centuries lifted from their shoulders, they know that their journey is far from over. For though they may have solved one mystery, countless others still remain, waiting to be uncovered in the depths of Oak Island's shadowy embrace. But with courage and determination as their guide, they know that no challenge is too great, no obstacle too daunting. For they are the Oak Island treasure hunters, and they will stop at nothing to unlock the secrets of the past.